Hey fellow Bronx, welcome to the third newscast of the spring semester. I'm your host, Troy Olson. Let's start off with our state, local, and national news. Lola Arena has the details. In local news, authorities have busted Narvaez self-service, a store where cocaine was being sold through the drive through window in the city of Escobares of Star County. Investigators say that special code names were used to obtain the drugs. After a tip from the public, agents raided the store and arrested a total of six people, including the leader, Eric Narvaez. Well, the agents raided the place. Customers were still lining up to presumably purchase the drugs. Bond for Narvaez was set at $1 million and $200,000 for the other five in custody. Moving on to state news, Six Flags Over Texas in Arlington is suing the German manufacturer of the Texas Giant, a roller coaster which they claim is defective and dangerous after a Dallas woman fell to her death last year while on the ride. Six Flags said it followed all the recommended operation and maintenance procedures on the ride as spelled out by the manufacturer, Gerslar, even at the time of the accident. For Bronx News, I am Lola Reina. Myra Gomez has the entertainment scoop of the week. The actress making headlines this week is Ellen Page, with her coming out speech at this year Time to Thrive Convention, a conference that promotes the welfare of LGBT youth. The actress said she was, quote, tired of hiding and even spread a standing ovation during her inspiring speech. The 26-year-old actress, who received an Oscar nomination for her work in Juno, is getting support from all over Hollywood from stars like Anna Kendrick, Lance Bass, among many others. She tweeted, quote, just wanted to take a moment to say how moved I am by all the support. I feel profoundly grateful right now. And moving on to late night talk, funny man Jimmy Fallon has officially begun his reign as a new king of the Tonight Show. Joan Rivers made a cameo appearance on the show after not having been on for 30 years. She was reportedly banned by ex-host Johnny Carson after abandoning her post at NBC to host her own late night show on Fox. After such a long time, Rivers joked about her banishment and had only kind words for the new host. For Bronx Radio, I am Myra Gomez. Thanks for joining our third newscast of the spring semester. I'm Troy Olson. We'd like to thank our radio advisor, Mr. Fred Mann, our station manager, Mary Ann Garcia, our news director, Ivan Herrera, and all the BRT staff.